hurricane season, of course, just a few days old now, but our local emergency planners have already got their preparations in place just in case this is the year we get another one of those storms. Our Ashley Gonzalez has more on that tonight. The coastal bend is no stranger to hurricanes, and when hurricanes bring strong winds, comes heavy rains. Between Sinton and Odom, that got up to 10 inches of rain within a matter of a few hours. Sarah Williams is the emergency management coordinator of San Patricio County. She says while Hurricane Harvey devastated the coastal bend back in 2017, it helped city and county leaders get ready for the next storm. We sent upgrades to some drainage across the county, redone some roads, redone ditches, put in some culverts and drainage stuff in different areas of the county because we know those areas tend to flood. And so we're doing those things so that we can lessen that risk to the public. San Patricio isn't the only county looking ahead. Mark McLaughlin is the city manager of Kingsville. He says the drainage cleaning in parts of Claiborne County have already started. Both the city and the power company clean off the high lines for the electric grid, cut back the, tr the trees, the tree limbs, so that uh, we can avoid the uh, or mitigate the problem of having a tree fall over on the power lines and cause power outages. Williams and McLaughlin say you shouldn't wait for severe weather to show up at your doorstep to start preparing. And if you're evacuating, make sure you take what you need because you might not know what will be left. We came back to nothing. The whole house was gone. I'm a musician. I had all my guitars, everything gone. The house was like about 400 feet from where it was supposed to be or used to be. You need to start today. If you haven't planned at all, you're, you need to start today. Having a plan is the most important thing our citizens can do right now. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.